I go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Hey, we are Astound Dungeon. You are watching Caliber TV. What's up guys, we're here with Asking Alexandria. If you guys could uh, introduce yourself and tell us what you do in the band. I'm James, I uh, play sticks and shit. Sticks and stuff? I play strings and shit, I'm Cameron. I play those strings. So, what's the transition been like since Stand Up and Scream? Uh, it's been a magical, awesome journey of just awesomeness, yeah. It's been great. It's. <laughs> We grew up a lot, you know? Well, well I mean, well, no, I know. <laughs> what I just said, obviously not grown up at all. Uh, I think we're, our music's grown up a bit, maybe. Um, yeah, we're just continuing being us, which is stupid. <laughs> we love that about you guys. Yeah, same old, same old. Uh, so what's your guys' show like musically and visually for those, of you, for those people who haven't gone to one of your shows? Uh, I feel like our shows are like, a mixture of like aggressive, epic, fucking euphoric. It's fucking everything, you know. We try and we try and really give it all on our live shows. So, I mean, visually, it's definitely awesome. I mean, <laughs> well, we'd hope so. You guys just released from death to destiny. How, how's the fan response been so far? It's been fucking awesome. Everyone's loving it. Um, like, it, it's it. We've we've sort of. Um, it's still asking, but we've done a little bit. It's a little bit different. Say, if you compare Stand Up and Scream to From Death to Destiny, it's a lot different, you know? Um, but everyone's loving it. Everyone's loving the uh, 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 our new sound. Uh, it's, it's just going great, you know? Everyone, everyone's fucking loving it. Everyone's singing along live. Everyone's fucking digging the new videos, new tracks. It's, it's going fucking great. So everybody wants to know, what's the story behind the naked girls and the vending machines? What's not to like I about that? You pretty much just answered your question. Naked girls, vending machines. That's fucking sweet, right? Right. Tits in big boxes. I mean, <laughs> tits in glass boxes. Yeah. Every guy likes that. Some girls might like that too. Yeah. A little bit of finger banging. I'm sure they will. Yeah. Finger blasting Woo! all night long. So, what exactly inspired the whole album? The change of sounds. I think it's. So, what exactly is the inspiration behind the album? Like, what inspired you to change the sound? Uh, I mean, we just grew up as people, you know. Like, uh, we matured a lot. We. Um, we, I don't know. It's like we think we just got better at writing music. Like, like on our first album, it was just five guys coming together. This is what came out. The second album was a lot. We were like, yeah, you know, fucked up. We're like, it's a lot darker and shit. And this next album, we're like, grown up. It's like, we've, this is our career. This is our life. You know, this is what we are. And that's pretty much what came out musically. You know. So, what would your 15-year-old self say if they saw you? God damn, that band's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could be them. I'd be like, yeah, seriously, <laughs> those guys dress fucking well. They have sick boots. Yeah, that's true. By the way, just check it. Sick boots. Beach, yeah. I'm not wearing boots, so. Well, that's okay. You can, you can get some. Okay. You, get some you guys like have these. any extra pairs? I, I've got some extra pairs. What size Twelve. Shit, I don't have. Yeah, we, we have small. That size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of big footed, so. Uh, you can get some boots that can look sick in any way. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take your take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> what song means the most to you off the entire album? Um, I fuck, dude. I. Moving on is fucking. Yeah, I would say moving on. It's like the ballad of the song, you know. It's it's really it, it's sort of like um, you know, being on tour all the time, fucking the life we live. It's 
this kind of it, 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 it sort of explains a lot you know mm -hmm. of how a, being in a touring band is and it's not all glamorous as people would assume it is a lot of the time but hey it's still fucking good times it's good times it, it's it sort of yeah, encompasses a lot of what we do and like, the life we live and it, it, it means a lot you know that's good uh, what's the most embarrassing moment you've had on stage throughout your whole entire music career? Um, shit, I don't fucking... I mean, I fucked up. When I fuck up, it's pretty fucking epically fucked up. Because when I fuck up, everyone fucks up. I think one of the worst has got to be when we had to redo... We first started playing The Death of Me. Was it The Death of Me? Yeah, yeah it was Death of Me. In, in fucking Arizona? Yes. And we had to... Play it how many times? <laughs> three, times. three times. We fucked it up two times in a row and we got it third time, right? Yeah, we got it in the end, but. You fuck up once, I mean, haha, everyone laughs, but. Fuck up twice. Okay, this band <laughs> may suck a little bit. <laughs> We're awesome at fucking up, though, by the way. Like, we are the best band of fucking up ever. Seriously. Yeah. No joke. I think like people, so pe people come up to us after and they're like, "You planned that fuck up, right?" And we're like, "Nope, <laughs> nope. We're just great at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're experts at <laughs> fucking shit up." It's right there. <laughs> so, if you guys weren't in Asking Alexandria, what would you be doing right now? Um, I'd probably be in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> Ca Cameron's okay. in Cameron's in the clinic. Yeah. You know getting the docs checked out yeah. <laughs> um, I'd fucking I don't know I'd be a politician there we are <laughs> straight up that's different I'd be deciding your fate I would be uh, <laughs> I'd be a priest yeah I'd be a priest no I wouldn't be fuck that <laughs> Danny in fucking sanity from tumblr asked what does it feel like to know that you guys have changed a lot of lives and you've saved a lot of people I think that's fucking awesome. I mean, I, uh, no matter how many times we've been told or um, how many people we meet, whenever someone says we've helped them or we've helped them get through shit or save their life or some shit, that always means, like, you know, that that's the most. It doesn't matter how many fucking people say, oh, I bought your album, I love your band. When we've helped someone, that's like, it fucking, it, it, it means a shitload, you know? Um, and er, er, like I said, every day, it's fucking, it's brilliant, you know. So, thank you, Danny. Danny, if, what is fucking Danny in fucking sanity. Danny in fucking sanity. Fucking glad we helped you, you know. Love you. If you guys were in a zombie apocalypse, what would be your survival strategy? Oh God. Buy fucking shitloads of guns. Shitloads of ammo. I'll get an AR with a shitload of ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Fuck shit up. Yeah. I'm a good shot, by the way. Say it. It's always good to have. Yeah. All right, so this is that. Tits or ass? Ass, I think. I don't know. I'd like both, please. Can I get both? No, you have to choose. Have to. I'm going to be a cheater. I'm going to cheat. No, you Because if there's some tits in my face, there's obviously an ass there as well. I'm just going to be like, woo! The way, the way I look at it, <laughs> smart way to think about it. If a chick has got good tits, doesn't necessarily mean she's got a good body. That's a good policy. She's got a nice ass. She's more than likely gonna have good legs, good, you know, a good figure if she's got a nice ass. Think about it that way. Cameron getting all fucking Strategy. thinking in there, you know. I like that. That's yeah. that's well, what I we mean, like. I'd like, like but overall, I would have to say ass. Overall, I do like an ass, you know. Get it in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sucking some farts. Yeah. Okay, math or English? Of course English, come on. Math can go fuck itself. Like what no one needs that shit. We got calculators and phones <laughs> and shit. All dirty. Did not do one. <laughs> I'm not fucking drinking that dude. There we are. I'll wash it off. Here you No, I'm okay. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Beers on tap. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. Alright guys, go check out Asking Alexandria on From Death to Destiny Tour. I won't let you be the death of me. No, I won't